on that wall across the street, the Inner City Muslim Action Network, a building that we were able to secure with the support of the Greater Southwest Development Corporation who is here today. When it came time to work with the Chicago Public Arts Project for that mural, they asked us, we were thinking about the designs. Much of the design we thought not only reflected some, that verse says there is no reward for good other than good. But also you will see the patterns and designs of St. Rita reflected in the wall. The teardrops representing our joint affection and reverence of the Virgin Mary alongside other symbols. In this community, brothers and sisters, coming together like this is not simply a one-off occasion. It is not simply a photo op. We have been working together. We will continue to work together and struggle with one another for a better, brighter future. You and you heard today from many of our extraordinary people up here about the, the, the profound nature of our verses that call us to action. We hear about, and many of our faith traditions call us to light that proverbial candle in the midst of overwhelming engulfing darkness. Ten years ago, September 11, 2001, was a moment of extraordinary darkness. But our country, our people, our responders, our faith traditions, each lit that proverbial candle. We light it every day on these streets, in this community, in the face of extraordinary odds, in the face of extraordinary challenges, because we fundamentally believe that together, our future is brighter and better, and alone and separate, we will continue to suffer. So today, you coming out represent that tradition. You heard of many that are here on the steps. There are many extraordinary institutions that are in this community and across this city that came here today that were also not able to talk because of the shortness of the program. The Council of Islamic Organizations, Southwest Youth Collaborative, Fatma and everyone from Senate, as you heard the International Human Rights Commission, as we've talked about the Greater Southwest Development Corporation, Neighborhood Housing Services, the extraordinary Holy Cross Institution, the hospital that represents a source of healing and nurturing in this community, the Latino organization in the Southwest, Ceasefire, my extraordinary individuals and board members that are here, Layla Muhammad and others from the Imam Murthy Muhammad community and that also are here from as, as board members. We are extraordinary privilege. Thank you again uh, to our, our, our great Alderman Tony folks, to our extraordinary Senator, State Senator Jackie Collins, to our beautiful Commissioner Jesus uh, Garcia. <laughs> and to our phenomenal Senator Dick Durbin. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you all. And we can report that in this community, in spite of all of our challenges, when we continue challenge, there has been zero hate crimes reported in, since 9-11 in Chicago Lawn. We will continue to fight for that and fight for a brighter future. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings be upon you all.